in this little exercise, you're going to pick out the capacitors, and it's the double line elements, that are in series or parallel or neither. Now the rules are the same, doesn't matter if it's capacitors, resistors, or inductors, just whatever kind of component it is. Alright, so pick out the components that are in series, parallel, or parallel. And I'll just pause the video and I'll wait as it counts down. Alright, so hopefully you paused, got some answers here. So let's take a look at what are in series and what's in parallel. First, let's look at what's in series. So the ones that are in series are the combination of MLK and PB. So here's MLK, those are in series, and PB, those are in series. Maybe you tried answering C and D, because they look like they're in series. I mean, it does look like one after another, which is true. They are one after another, except there's one thing. If you go from C to D, you have to cross that junction. And we, knew, we know that for things to be in series, there can't be a junction because that splits up the voltage, or the current. Sorry. So you can't have that junction there. That makes C and D are not in series. Or maybe you thought MLK, why not Q and H? Well, Q and H, it looks like they're in series with these three. So here are the, the five resistors, we're, or five um, capacitors we're looking at. But the problem is, again, same as before, as you travel from capacitor to capacitor, you'll find these junctions, and the junctions will split up the current. And so in doing that, it doesn't make it a series anymore. Because remember, series means one after another, no junctions in between, so the current can just flow straight from one through the other or the charge in this case, I guess. Uh, parallel. Let's look at parallel. There are a couple in parallel. So if I look at these, in parallel I've got the A and the D, the WQT, I've got the S and the F, and I have R and G. Remember our basic rule, simple to identify, in parallel the voltage stays the same, which means I can trace from the top of one capacitor to the top of the other, and from the bottom of one capacitor to the bottom of the other. And this time, junctions are allowed. Series not allowed, and parallel they're expected. You, you have to have them. So as an example, maybe you selected B and N, because they look like they're in parallel. So that's this combination up here. But they're not in parallel. So if I follow my finger rule and tracing out the voltages, you'll see it doesn't work. So here's what I mean. I'm going to start from B, and I'll go over and down, then over to the side of N. Okay, that works great. The voltage there is all the same because I haven't crossed any other components. Now I'm going to go from B to N on the other side. So I'll go to B, go to the left, then I'll go down, and I hit P. So once I hit P, I know the voltage is changed. So the voltage drop across B is not the same as the voltage drop across N. They're not in parallel. Okay, so now if you wanted to, you could try one of the other examples that I have online. 